Hello guys, the goal of the video is performing of simulation of Excel compressor, the rotor 67. It is real compressor and let's go to download the geometry of this compressor and in this video I will show you how to prepare the geometry for the creation of the hexa mesh in turbo grid mesh generator and let's download it without tip gap and in second part video I will show you how to perform simulation and we will compare the results of simulation with experimental results so let's open the student version of workbench 2020 version and here let's go to folder and translate the geometry parasolid format and just open it in design modella module Okay, here you can see the import, this is our geometry and now we have to prepare the geometry for export it to TurboGrid. So let's choose the geometry and make the circular array for this, choose the axis for array. Uh, we have 21 number of bodies and now we have the rotor 67 ok create the boolean and we make the one body uh, now uh, I, I want to make it because I want to make the meridional projection for the rotor so it's hide it uh, okay just show body ah yes it's very small geometry go to millimeters units and let's show the meridional plan and make the rectangle in the sketch one and for this rectangle let's create the surface I just want to make the projection of contours of rotor 67 to the surface and Okay, and make the meridional projection of flow path. So let's split the surface, face split tool, choose target face, and tool geometry. Make generate, and now we have the split and make another split also we choose the target face and tool geometry it will be the hub by surface and hub of the rotor okay and make generate and now we have the flow path of the rotor 67 So um, let's hide the body of rotor and in the X plane let's create the four sketches. It will be inlet, outlet, 
shroud and hub and for any sketch we have to create the lines or curves it will be meridional flow path of the axial compressor okay let's create the inlet go to the shroud and choose the spline and for spline let's create the shroud curve just repeat the curve reaction of the shroud to the surface by spline I will make it not very accurate just for example but the error between the spline and real curve of the shroud is not very big so we will get the correct results it's small than one millimeters smaller okay we have the shroud and let's create the hub curve by spline okay choose this point of inlet and go along of the hub curve Of course you can make the accurate curve if you will import the meridional projection from some file with coordinates x, y for the meridional projection. But this method is universal for any type of rotor machine with blades okay we have made the hub curve and let's create the outlet curve inlet inlet and outlet okay so we have complete this route up <coughs> inlet and outlet okay um, the next step is so let's show the body and we have the our flow pass so the next step is creation the flow pass we have to choose the hub shroud sketch for each row okay uh, and we have the false i think we have the false with inlet part yeah we have one line one line in the okay we have the two lines in the inlet i have created it in previous step and let's delete one of the line we can make it in sketching let's delete and now we have one line okay let's make the generate edit sketch and just make some changes in flow pass inlet
we have these lines and let's make the generate and we have the correct flow path so let's split the flow path to the sum layers it will be the average layer and let's make two another layers we will be export the profiles to the turbo grid using these layers so now we have the flow path with layers and let's make the export points choose the flow path we have the 22 blades in this case and blade row number equal one and let's choose the surface of blade we have pressure side and suction side in this case let's choose it and make generate so now we have the profiles which we will import export to turbo grid for creation the hexa hexahedral mesh okay it looks correct and let's save our project to any path okay I called it project okay save and the second step is creation the hexahedral mesh let's connect these two models models and open the turbo grid so now uh, we can generate the mesh for this our blade very simple case and we just generate the mesh with default settings so let's go to the shroud tip and set the gap the gap the value of gap we can to see in this article okay we have design tip clearance one millimeters and let's set it here one millimeter 1.01 1 .01, apply and after this let's make the activate topology set so now we have the mesh with default settings we can change the settings here this general parameter with coarse medium fine or we can specify the number of the hexahedral elements here this global settings and now we have we can change the passage hub tip shroud tip number elements or el number elements for this inlet or outlet part here and just make the apply for this number of elements it will be the fine mesh in student version we can use it this number so uh, let's show the different part of geometry and here we can check the quality of the mesh it will be the minimum angle minimum volume we have um, for minimum face angle we have to get not smaller than 15 millimeters 15 degrees of course and uh, we da doesn't have to have the very small volume because we have we, we will get the crash with simulation in NCC FX. okay uh, let's
to see the to watch for the mesh this boundary layers okay let's close the turbo grid our mesh looks correct and now um thank you for watching subscribe to the channel let's input the effects and goodbye